Six years ago, I started a little habit that changed my life. In 2016, I sat down for the first time one early and brisk February morning and tried meditating using an app called Headspace. Meditation always sounded to me like a concept for people who name their own crystals and grow their own wheatgrass. But a book called 10% Happier by Dan Harris finally made me see it through a lens that appealed to me. It started off with just 10 minutes that morning, but has grown into a thousand sessions and over 300 hours over the last six years. I could tell you what a major positive impact it's had on me as a husband, father, and leader, but that's not why I started this year's Comics Pro presentation talking about meditation. Meditation is first and foremost about breath. You know, that thing that all of us do, most of us never really think about. Until I started meditating, I never realized how much I hold my breath. Which I think is a perfect metaphor for what the last two years have been like for so many of us in the comics industry. Holding our breath. Especially those of us responsible for not just our own livelihoods, but the livelihoods of so many others, like employees, as well as customers, creators, and the larger comics community, who are all impacted by the decisions we make. After COVID-19 changed the world in March 2020, many of us in the comics industry wondered if our businesses and the industry itself would survive intact. Then, later in the year, when the industry showed signs of not only surviving, but thriving and growing, we wondered when the other shoe would drop. But... What if this is the moment where we stop holding our breaths and instead lead the charge to one of the most significant periods of change and growth in the industry for decades? Starting in October of 2020 and throughout 2021 and now in 2022, Boom Studios had six of the biggest consecutive quarters of all time, resulting in our company becoming the fastest growing comic book publisher with a market share increase of over 200% in just two years. In 2021 alone, House of Slaughter and Berserker were two of the top three best-selling comic books of the year, and Something is Killing the Children was the second best-selling collection. A big part of our shared success over the last two years is due to the explosion of James Tynan and Werther Deladeris' Something is Killing the Children franchise. Not only was Something is Killing the Children Volume 1, our top-selling collection of 2021, the top-selling single issue of 2021 was the launch of the Something is Killing the Children spinoff, House of Slaughter, number one. Both of these extraordinary successes speak volumes about the incredible momentum of the franchise has in comic shops, thanks to the work that you've done putting it in the hands of new customers. In just two years, Something is Killing the Children has sold over two million copies worldwide and begun development on a streaming series at Netflix, proving that Erica Slaughter and her kin are just getting started. To thank you for your support, each Comics Pro attendee will receive a limited edition Something is Killing the Children number 21 ash can that will also go out one per account through Diamond to get everyone ready for the return of Erica Slaughter on March 30th. Another part of the success we saw in 2021 was, of course, Berserker by Keanu Reeves, Matt Kent, and Ron Garney. Thanks to your support, Berserker was the highest ordered comic book in the direct market for over 30 years. The first collection, released just a few months ago, is on track to be one of our best-selling collections in the history of the company. In less than a year, we've sold over 1 million copies of Berserker. And just like Something is Killing the Children, it's got a film and an anime series in development at Netflix. So you know Keanu and B are just getting started as well. 2021 wasn't just the story of two record-breaking franchises. Boom Studios continues to add must-read titles to every comic book fan's list with hot new licenses and creator-owned stories you can't get anywhere else. We added Magic the Gathering to our license slate alongside fan favorites, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Dune, launching the global hit franchise seven times higher than this last series at its previous publisher. Original series like Eve by Victor Laval, Joe Myung, Dark Blood by Latoya Morgan, Walt Barna, and Moise Hidalgo, and Eat the Rich by Sarah Gailey and Pius Bach not only showcased the diversity of talent and subject matter available to readers in the comic book market, but also hit new sales heights for Boom Studios. And of course, the highly acclaimed Many Deaths of Layla Starr by Rom V and Philippe Andretti became Rom's highest selling debut, as well as one of the best reviewed series of 2021. So to celebrate the growth of our must-read original series, every attendee will receive an exclusive edition of Faithless 3, number one, by Brian Azzarello and Maria Lovett. 
Faithless number one was the series that kicked off the last three record-breaking years for Boom Studios. So it's fitting that this groundbreaking trilogy will tell its final chapter this year. But Boom Studios wasn't the only publisher to experience terrific growth in 2021. Comic book sales grew even more rapidly last year, with nearly 50% more copies sold than the prior year. What's even more exciting is the market share of this growth appears to be more widely distributed across a variety of publishers than ever before, rather than being concentrated in just the top two publishers in the market. Despite our industry's record-setting sales growth, there's a sense of frustration and exhaustion that permeates many of our conversations and online interactions, which is heartbreaking because our industry is filled with passionate, hardworking people. There's no way around it. This historic success comes in a time of unprecedented uncertainty and chaos. The world and our industry have absolutely changed, becoming more complex and more unpredictable. But that's not why we're frustrated. We're frustrated because our expectations are not being met. The expectations we have from 2019 of how the industry should work, expectations of how the industry should run, and perhaps even a hope that things will go back to the way they were. The last two years don't represent a momentary disruption, blip, or bubble. Two years is enough time for new customer habits to form, new ways of doing business to take root, and new opportunities to be realized. They reflect a new normal taking shape before our eyes. To continue to thrive in 2022 and beyond, our industry needs to not only accept this new normal, but embrace it. We should let go of the breath that we've been holding, lean in, and use our growth from the last year to invest in shaping the future. Boom Studios is doing just that by expanding our team by 33% in the first quarter to nurture and develop further growth in 2022. You can meet two recent additions to the sales team, Josh Hayes, our Vice President of Sales, and Harley Selbaka, our Retail Sales Coordinator, during the Boom Meet the Team session this evening. We're expanding our sales team as well with two additional direct market sales team members dedicated to comic book shops. And we're also adding new hires in our editorial, production design, marketing, operations, and finance teams to ensure Boom Studios continues to be comic shop's gold standard for publishing partners. We also recognize that we serve an increasingly diverse group of customers in comic shops, so we're leaning into the new normal by offering a variety of programs and incentives to support our retail partners. As the leader in returnability, that includes continuing to make multiple issues of numerous series, collections, and graphic novels fully returnable through the Boom Guarantee Program. And to further strengthen the Boom Guarantee Program, we're adding exclusive and returnable Boom Guarantee variants on series with established audiences. We're pairing that with thoughtful, curated incentive cover programs designed to speak to the customers, particularly with series that have stronger collector bases. And if a title sells out, we'll support it with subsequent printings to meet demand. Additionally, we're expanding our marketing efforts and available tools for our retail partners to help you maximize your sales. This includes our weekly FOC Friday posts to over 120,000 followers on Twitter, new comic book day and book birthday promotions that go out to over 400,000 followers on multiple social media platforms, and a steady stream of video content, including trailers and our conversation show with creators, Boom Chat, that are available for your use in store and online. Of course, the best way we can support your sales and growth in 2022 is to continue to build the momentum and excitement for best-selling creator-owned series like Something is Killing the Children, House of Slaughter, Berserker, Once in Future, Seven Secrets, and We Only Find Them When They're Dead, as well as celebrate important milestones for fan-favorite licenses like the 25th anniversary of Buffy the Vampire Slayer in March, the 20th anniversary of Firefly in September, and a special milestone moment for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers later this year. And you know that Boom Studios has never been one to rest on our laurels. So here's a sneak peek of the exciting fresh hits driving customers into your stores this year.
exciting, right? With all these incredible creators, iconic characters, and thrilling new stories, you can expect the next Something is Killing the Children or Berserker to hit your shelves this year. At Boom Studios, we're not holding our breath. We're exhaling and leaning into the excitement and possibilities of 2022 and beyond. We believe that there is even more room to grow our industry, so we are investing in and embracing our new normal to build a bridge to a stronger and better future for ourselves, our retail partners, and our community. We invite you to join us. We look forward to having deeper conversations during the conference about how we can help our retail partners make 2022 your best year yet.